So good morning you guys, I'm just trying to finish this um, iced coffee that I quickly made uh, because I'm going to be heading off to the post office today. I didn't get a chance to go during the week with my sister because my nephew hasn't been well. So today is Saturday by the way, um, I don't usually do much business related stuff um, over the weekend, I try not to, um, but Monday's bank holiday Monday and I really need to get these parcels out so today is the last day I can get them out and yeah. So I've got a lot of parcels to bring to the post office. So I'm gonna be going there twice. I'm gonna get an Uber from mine to the post office. Then I'll get a bus back. Then I'll get another Uber to the post office and then just get the bus back home. So that should probably take about, I don't know, two hours or so. Um, because I use Royal Mail Click and Drop, I just need to drop my parcels off. Um, I don't need to use the self-service or anything. So these are all the bits that you get in the box. On the pictures, the actual charger itself, it looked really, really, really nice. I love the design of it. So much nicer than the last one I had that was just black. Um, so I like the fact that it's white because then it actually goes in my room. So this is really nice. I like this one. I absolutely love the design. So this one that I have, it charges both AA and AAA batteries. Um, and this is amazing because my last rechargeable battery products that I had, um, it was only for AA batteries and I actually use both of these. Here's what the batteries look like in. Just bring that to your plug socket. I've got one empty here. And there we go, it's turned on. And I like the fact that this one has this LED screen so you can actually see how much charge there is in each battery. So that's amazing. I absolutely love the design of this. It's so sleek. I always have lights on the outside of my hamster cage and these take AA batteries. And then also I have some lights on my bed. So I'm gonna charge these up and then I can finally replace the batteries um, for my Rose Fairy Light. It takes around four hours for the batteries to completely charge. I'll have a link in the description to the product. And a big thank you to the company for sending me out this product to try and share with you guys because I absolutely love it. And you guys know I always um, share with you my genuine opinion on products and I will only show you guys products that I actually love. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my um, iced coffee and make a start and getting ready to head out. So I've just booked my Uber, which is gonna be here in like two minutes. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that I'm using my bag that I got in my last video. This just has a couple of um, parcels in there and then I've also got two um, big bags I'm gonna bring with me as well. So yeah, this is gonna be my first trip to the post office and um, yeah, this is pretty much just what I'm wearing. This is today's outfit, just got my comfy trainers on. And yeah, so I'll try and film some little clips for you guys while I'm out. Right, so I've just got back home from my first trip to the um, post office. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the bags up again, book another Uber and then head back out again. And um, I'm really liking this bag. It's from um, Amazon, if you guys are wondering where I got this from. Um, I'll see if I can link it down below in the description. What's really funny is that when I got off the bus and I was waiting at the um, traffic lights to cross over, um, I saw my um, my Royal Mail postman. He was waving to me in his little Royal Mail van. I'm gonna go ahead and um, order my Uber because it's literally just gonna take them about two minutes to um, to pick me up, it doesn't take long. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be heading out and just doing that same thing all over again. When I get back home, I need to take the bins out and I've also got a lot of cardboard boxes to um, take to the bins as well because I just accumulate so many each week with me receiving parcels and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the bins once I get in. Get a bag. Okay. 
so I'm back home now, um, I've taken the bins out and um, I've just received a parcel for my Royal Mail postman so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I think this might be my Starbucks cup, the smaller one. It is, this came really quickly as well. Um, so I paid £8.25 for this. It's come packaged really nicely this one i can use straight away because if you guys saw my last vlog you would have seen that i got the um, venti size and that one i got it personalized with my name and i'm not able to use that until the 30th because that's what it says on the care guide um and yeah so i'm going to be saving this pink tissue paper because it's quite nice and i like to reuse packaging um so i got another one of these um Straws. It's just a classic green Starbucks straw. I got one with my other um, cup. Definitely going to be using this today. This one is plain. It's not personalised. And inside, and this is by a brand called Kenko. I've actually heard of this brand um, before, and I think their coffee is quite nice. I use Costa coffee. I used a uh, Mocha Costa coffee, and I um, put it in a French press. I think this is just instant coffee. So I can't wait to try this out. And I went ahead and I ordered some reusable ice cubes. So you get five and um, you just pop these in the freezer and then pop them in your drink and just reuse them. I'm just gonna pretty much get on with some admin stuff. And I've also got some tidying to do. I've got bits and bobs to do around the house and stuff. And I've got a video going live at 12 o'clock. What is the time now? Um, 11.30, so in half an hour I've got my Watford um, slash Harry Potter studio tour travel vlog going up. I hope you guys like that video. I went to Watford last week, had such a great trip. I'll try and do a little bit of filming tomorrow because I've got quite a few businessy bits and bobs to do.
So good morning you guys, it's a little after 9 o'clock and I'm just waiting for my sister to pick me up. So we're going to be heading off to the post office today because I have a bunch of orders to send off. Um, I've been really lucky once again this week. I've had a huge amount of orders. So today I'm going to be sending off about 70 orders. Um, I've got maybe 14 or, well I've got under 20 orders on my Etsy at the moment which haven't been packed. A couple of them I got a few days ago but I'm out of my little small boxes. Um, so I have to wait for them to arrive before I can pack and send them out and then there was a few orders that I got overnight um I spent like an hour this morning making the chewed toys and so I just didn't have enough time to pack them print the labels and all of that kind of stuff so depending on how I'm feeling when I get back home today um I might actually pack those orders and just use the Royal Mail collection thing because Royal Mail can collect up to five parcels a day so I can schedule that in um for tomorrow and then they'll just get collected at some point during the day um so yeah it's actually going to be a really hot day today it's going to be 27 degrees hence why i'm wearing a dress i'll give you guys a quick outfit of the day in a minute but i just wanted to give you an overview of all of the lovely orders that i've received from you guys so this is all of them i've just got them piled up here i just need to quickly pack them into bags before my sister gets here so it's only 9 30 and i feel like i'm melting already um my house is really hot anyway all year round um so in the summer it just feels horrible and it might actually feel cooler outside with the breeze and stuff but indoors it's so hot and stuffy it's gonna be highs of 27 today and i feel like i'm already melting i was gonna wear a cardigan with this um outfit because i don't really feel that confident having like my arms and legs out in public um i'm just like really self-conscious about it so i was gonna pop on a cardigan which looks really nice with this outfit but I think it might be too hot for a cardigan but I might bring it just in case I feel like popping it on but yeah so um a really quick outfit today so my top is from I think it's my brand called Divided um which is the same brand uh, of the cardigan um if I do end up wearing that and you're wondering where it's from so this is a cropped white t-shirt but i was looking all over for a t-shirt but one that had little patterns on it um and it was really 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 hard to find one and i wanted one that had frilly sleeves as well i just feel like it adds so much more and then the dress that i'm wearing is from h&m i bought a couple of these dresses i think i have about three um of these dresses from h&m and um, one's got buttons down there one's just got buttons up to here but the other two have to be ironed whereas this one you can just pop it on because it's like this sort of ribbed um ribbed fabric and i love this dress um it's just really nice to pop on a black dress and all of them you can wear a top underneath and then i've just got these knee high socks on or over the knee socks and then i've just got my chelsea boots on which i have been loving they're by a brand called shoe and i got them off asos i'm just wearing my michael kors crossbody my um, necklace and my bracelet are from anna louise so i've actually decided to switch to wearing um this corduroy bag instead um just the same tote bag i was on the other day just because it's a bit big and I've got my cardigan in here and once I finish with the bags that I use to bring the stuff to the post office um, I can fold them up and they can fit in this bag as well. So I've just got back home and I've got a little Primark bag. I might have bought a few things in Primark, but I didn't do that bad. There were so many amazing things in there, especially the homeware. And they now have kitchen stuff as well. There were so many things I wanted to get. I found some really nice bed sheets and stuff, but I was really good. And I just picked up a couple of essential things and I spent just under £10. So I picked up one of these vests. It's pretty much just a... Uh, 
normal vest. I've been needing to get one for a while because the one that I have is really old. This is just nice to wear under jumpers and stuff when it's a bit cold. Um, this was literally just £1.80. I got it in a size 4 to 6. And I wanted to get a white one but they didn't have that in my size. These are just some shorts. Um, they're just some pyjama ones to wear indoors. Um, I have a couple of these. Um, they're really nice. And I really love this um, texture. I can't remember what it's called. There's a name for it. Um, but I have a dress with it on and it's honestly so nice and I want some bed sheets with this texture um, and I love the bow but yeah just picked up some shorts and I think these were just three pounds. Picked up a pair of socks because I only have one pair of long frilly socks. Um, these ones are not as nice as the pair that I already have um, but they're still frilly socks and there's two pairs and these were only two pounds. Picked up these fake LED tea lights. I have been wanting um, some of these for a while so I can put them in my candle holders and I normally have a candle in my um, tea light thing but sometimes you just don't want to burn a candle and I think these will look quite nice in the evening. I just picked up some Tic Tacs in the queue because you know point of sales they always want you to pick up stuff when you're queuing up um, so I thought I'll just get some Tic Tacs and these are just really nice to throw in my bag. It's literally just after 12. What I think I'm going to do is have something to eat because I'm really hungry. Um, so I need to have some lunch. And then I'm just going to make a start on packing some orders. So the boxes that I need arrived today. I'm so happy. Actually, just as I was walking up to my door, I saw my postman and yep, he delivered these boxes. And these are the ones that I needed to fulfill um, some of the orders that I wasn't able to pack the other day. Um, so I thought I might as well just package some orders. There we go, there's her cute little face. There's your little daily dose of Bluebell.
So I've just finished packing these orders and printing out the postage for them. So these five over here are gonna get collected tomorrow. And these ones here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in the letterbox. Unfortunately, there's still about maybe three or four parcels that I couldn't pack because I've run out of the big boxes that I use for my flower and forage mix. And I've also went ahead and popped my cardigan on and the sun's sort of gone in a little bit. So this is what my cardigan looks like on this is the one that I was going to wear earlier. Um, I've just popped my dress back on because I was wearing some shorts because it was a bit more comfortable. And yeah, and I've got my bag which I'm going to be putting my parcels into. Hopefully they all fit in here. Earlier when I was doing my outfit of the day, um, I was getting a little bit confused with where stuff was from. But my top, my dress and my cardigan, I think they're all from H&M. So tomorrow I think I'm going to be doing some baking um, just to restock my baked treat. I've been so busy these last couple of weeks um, because if you guys watch my last studio vlog, I have basically continued on from that day. So here's what the drawer currently looks like this should be over here so i'm going to be restocking these um i'm going to restock the whimsies a bit um all of my baked treats i might restock some of the chicken and then this item here is like um it's like a, I forgot what I've named it on my website. It's basically a bark slice with dried flowers on there. I'm going to be discontinuing that product. Um, and then the dandelion roots that are here, I can now put them down here with the rest of the food items. So it makes sense. Um, and yeah, so this is what this drawer is currently looking like. I've got some more um, food dishes arriving and stuff. And eventually when I expand my... Um, my range of like enamel pins and stuff when I bring out more designs um, I'm gonna need some more space for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out now I do want to bring you guys with me so I'm gonna have to get my spare battery which is here because this battery um, that I've been filming with today is almost dead so I'm just gonna pop this in and then we can head out I've just got to the I've just got to the post box now and I ended up taking off my cardigan because it's actually quite hot. So I took this parcel in for my neighbour, so I'm just gonna deliver it to them. I'm finally back home. My hair and makeup probably looks an absolute mess. Um, but yeah, I just delivered a parcel to my neighbour because I got it a couple of days ago. And it was an Amazon parcel, so I just thought I would um, go up and deliver it to him. I've been enjoying um, creating content for you guys again because I wasn't really posting much for like for the whole year, pretty much. Um, because there just hasn't really been much to post with lockdown and everything now that things are starting to open up again and we're able to go places and all that kind of stuff i feel like i have a lot more to share with you um and i'm doing a few different types of vlogs on my channel so i'll have these vlogs which are my studio vlogs i'll have um travel vlog i might be going to the seaside at some point um <laughs> this summer because my sister was asking if i wanted to go with them um or if i'm going to like kent and stuff those ones are sort of classed as travel vlogs then I'll just have my casual weekly vlogs where I just film a whole bunch of stuff that will have that was happening in a week and then the other kind of vlog I might have is just I don't know I think that's it I think that's it really um so travel vlogs studio vlogs weekly vlogs and I guess like maybe any odd one day vlogs and then I'll have uh, like my hamster cage videos and maybe any other kind of hamster related video so that's the kind of content that I've categorized that I'm going to be filming on my channel because I feel like before it was all sort of jumbled up and mixed up and I didn't really know what was what uh, but now I have sort of distinctive somewhat distinctive categories if that makes sense so if you look at my recent videos for example um so we have a weekly vlog 
Um, this is a hamster cage video, another weekly vlog, a travel vlog and then a studio vlog here and um, I've sort of changed up the way I do my thumbnails. I've I've always struggled with my thumbnails um, to be honest with you. Even though I've been doing YouTube for quite a few years now I just struggle with finding a nice thumbnail and one that will sort of match all of my videos and I do prefer to have just like a one picture thumbnail than like ones like this where it's four pictures because then I feel like I struggle to like add the writing and stuff so I went ahead and I changed up this video and this video also I just need to go ahead and do these ones so let me know what you think of my new thumbnails as well um, I just wanted something simple and minimal but also something really nice and I feel like uh, for now I'm just going to be doing them doing them like this so I'm gonna stop rambling now and um, I'm gonna end this vlog I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you guys in my next video which will probably be another studio vlog um because I'm gonna be doing them like back to back because I can pretty much do them every week um and then if something exciting pops up if I end up going to somewhere else then that will uh, be like a travel vlog or something and I don't have any hamster videos planned right now um but yeah so I'll probably see you guys in my next studio vlog and yep, so I will see you then. Bye for now, guys.